I just sold this brooch. Uh, nope, just kidding. It's not a brooch. It hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, on this channel, I like to teach you things. I like to help you find money that you might be throwing away or donating. So this one, it might surprise you a little bit. So we are going to be talking about selling something in, um, what do you want to call it? Like, I guess it's sort of a replacement or repurposing or upcycling. There's many reasons somebody may buy this item. So we're going to start with the first one, which kind of is the reason I decided to do this video. I just sold this brooch. Uh, nope, just kidding. It's not a brooch. It sure looks like a brooch, doesn't it? It is a single earring, one single clip-on earring. And I sold this for a best offer of $37. It is lunch on the Ritz. The buyer did pay shipping. This is a single earring for replacement, but it kind of looks like a brooch, right? You could definitely turn this into a brooch. It is fabulous. So if you have if you buy jewelry, a lot of times you find single earrings and you can sell them, guys. Sometimes people are looking for a replacement. Maybe the person needs this earring. They have one and they need a new one. Or maybe they want to craft with this. You know how people make the beautiful pictures um, out of jewelry? This would be great on a like beach scene, right? So there's many, many reasons why people will buy these arts and crafts, replacements, um, upcycling, all that good stuff, making other types of jewelry. So let's look at some more. Are you ready? So this one says, I love it and plan to wear it on a chain as a statement piece. So this person bought it to wear it as a pendant. And is this big money? No, but it's a single earring. How simple is that to list? $22 plus shipping. And you can see positive feedback was left. And here are the maker's marks for uh, Givenchy, Givenchy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but anyway, let's do the next one. The item earring arrived in good condition. It is just great. It is an unusual and very large. Will make a unique pin. So they are going to turn this one into a pin or a brooch. It sold for, uh, looks like a best offer of $25. And it's just a really pretty earring. It is vintage gold over sterling. And it has the rhinestones. And yeah. So the person that bought it is going to upcycle it. But it was a single earring, guys. This one says, vintage signed Haskell single clip-on earring, golden thread brown beads. And you can see she put great and then showed it in her ear. So she must have the other one, right? because she's probably not going to wear just one earring. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, this one sold for 30. Wait, let's make sure. Was it 36? It looks like a best offer was taken on that one. So I'm not sure what that one sold for, but it sold. And let's look at the back. It is signed right there. They use the caliper. You can pick up calipers pretty cheap, guys. Definitely recommend them. And there it is, a single clip-on earring. Here is another one. This is a vintage single Hattie Carnegie. Now, what you are going to notice is the ones that are signed and glass and a little more fancy are the ones that you're going to see selling. And here is the signature. This one sold for $41. And it had seven bids. This is a Shriner Cabochon one single earring. So somebody's probably going to do something pretty with this. These are really great um, earrings. $51 on that one. This one is a single clip earring, vintage Trafari sterling jewels of Tanjore faux moonstone. So again, it is a signed Trafari piece and it is a faux moonstone, which means not actually moonstone. $61 on that one. And this one is a Robert, vintage Robert marked cameo clip on earring and a best offer was taken. So I went over to Terra Peak and you can actually see what the item sold for. You just type the title. I cut and paste it into the search up here and hit search last three years and it will pull up the item. It actually sold for $35, which is pretty good for a single earring, right? And that is what it looks like. And it does have some wear on it and it still sold. 
and it is signed Robert. The next one is, it says excellent. So we know it was a good sale. This one sold for $81. This is a vintage Chanel. So this is a um, replacement probably. I mean, maybe somebody could make um, a pendant or something out of that. That could be cute, but $81 for that. I'm guessing somebody lost their earring and they needed a replacement and bam. What surprises me the most is how many of these are um, auction style because you would think that it's going to be a list it and forget it, take a long to, time to sell type of item. But really, some a lot of these are auctions. And I'm only showing you guys the ones that I could verify with feedback or the ones that had a lot of bids because um, I like to kind of prove that the thing's actually sold. And that's the best way for me to show you that. You can type in vintage clip-on earrings, single or replacement, and see many, many more that sold. But again, I wanted to show you guys the ones I could verify. This one is an 18 karat yellow gold. So Italy. This one is 18 karat. So number one, it's gold. It's real gold. It sold for $225. Only one bid. Italy, 18K. So again, somebody could make a beautiful pendant out of this. Or who knows? Who knows why they wanted it? It was 18K, but I, I'm guessing there's not that much gold on it to justify $225. But maybe, I don't know, gold is up. So let me know what you guys think about this and check out my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel for uh, unsigned vintage brooches that sell for thousands. Also, these are ignored and unexpected bolos that are uh, by Avon and they're brooches, Avon brooches. And I have big money clip on earrings. This video is uh, really, really eye opening. So look at, look at my eyes. I have, uh, I have, uh, clip-ons on my eyes there. Very eye-opening. And then if you guys want to see what I did with my owl brooches, I actually made an owl lamp and it's really, really cool. You can check out this video. So, oh, also brooches missing stones. One sells for over 1K. You got to check out that video. Just crazy. And I've done really well with brooches that are, um, that need repaired. It's, it's pretty crazy. All right, you guys, check out those videos. And also, while we're talking about jewelry, I take jewelry and I dump it in a pile and I sell it on whatnot. And I start everything at $5 or less. So I hope you will come over and join in on the fun. I am Bolo Buddies over there, all one word, lowercase. And I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use that link to join. We have a lot of fun over there. And I sometimes sell bags of clip-on earrings. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of people, again, craft. They make the little beaded uh, pictures and all that fun stuff. Lots of things you can do. Upcycling and fun, fun, fun. So let me know in the comments, one, if you've ever sold a single clip-on earring. And number two, if you use single clip-on earrings to repurpose or upcycle. All right, you guys. So let me know down there. And I hope you'll come see me on whatnot. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. Come hang out. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. watching, And let me know if this was eye-opening for you. Thanks for watching.